is from Venice, Calcia. Greetings, my relatives, friends, and supporters. I was thinking about the national holiday, Thanksgiving, the other day. I won't even go into what a horrible shame this American holiday is based on. Instead, I will just let it remind me of the common bond I have with all my brothers and sisters of the earth. Even if Thanksgiving, the holiday, is based on an incorrect portrayal of history, the concept of being thankful is a universal truth. I mean, let's face it, being thankful, grateful, has been part of Indian nations much longer than the invention of a holiday. I admit there are days in here when I find it very hard to be thankful, but it does not make, but it does not take much to bring it back for me. Most days I get cards, <coughs> letters from people all over the world. Sometimes I can even smell the soil, the pines, and sometimes even fry bread in the paper that is sent to me. I hear stories of your lives, your troubles, your children, your jobs. Oh, there is some word for that, but I cannot think of it now. But I get a sense of life through all of, the, through all of you, and I am thankful for that. I often want to reach out and help you sometimes. I would love to come work on your cars or help you build your sweat lodges or even just mow your lawn. I miss helping people and I hate asking for help, which it seems is all I do. In here, I'm able to focus on the simple things of life. You have no idea how cool it is just to get a new pair of socks. In the last few months, I have really been feeling my age and I am so very thankful for all the support that you have given to me. I won't lie, it has been a rough time lately, but I am hopeful that is changing. My people have always been, have always had a deep and connected relationship with the sun. And I realized the other day just how much I miss the sun. When I had the sun's light upon me, I felt stronger. These walls hold out the sun's energy and it weakens me. When you miss something, it's easier to be thankful for things you don't have, do have. My friend and spiritual advisor, Lenny Foster, visited me recently and he reminded me of some basic things I have to be thankful for. I have watched him age over all these years and I am thankful for him and his wisdom. He sang with me and prayed with me and I felt a bit of the sun again. Mm. I guess my point is that we can find the things we need in places we may not expect. I can always pray. This can never be taken away from me. And through that prayer, I can keep the sun and hope alive. And so, on this day, Thanksgiving, I will choose to be thankful and not to celebrate tyranny. I will also pray for you and with you. I pray for each and every one of you, whether you support me or not. I pray that your lives will be full of meaning and you will find new ways to learn. I pray for your strength and that you will always stand up for some for the things you know are right. I pray that each one of you find a way to protect our Mother Earth. She is crying out for us to hear her. I pray that you will listen to your inner wisdom and let it guide you to make choices that will help each other and that you will be examples of those still learning their way in this life. I pray that you will be present with the moments you have. Enjoy the simple things in life, like the sun, the dirt, 
the air, the water, and that you would protect them as you would your own children. I pray that you will look for opportunities to lift up your sisters and brothers and not bring them down. I pray that you'll grow and enjoy good natural food. I pray that you sever the attention of your loved ones. I pray that you build protective bridges of peace and those you oppose. I pray that when others make bad choices, you will help them find positive solutions. I pray for understanding in times of misunderstanding. And yes, I pray very deeply, honestly, that I can go home, go home for a little while before I cross over, cross over to the spirit world. I am with you always, and I feel your prayers too. I am always grateful for your support, your love, your friendship, your letters and contact you give me with life. It is harder for me to be physically, it, it is harder for me to physically see well enough to write letters these days. So please forgive me if I don't write back it is not that I don't want to know that I am often sitting and thinking of you and being thankful for all of you. Your old thankful friend and brother in the spirit of Crazy Horse, Leonard Pelletier. Itakuyu Ayasin. asked to just explain this flag to my left. Uh, that flag basically represents the Wampanoag Nation. Uh, many, 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 many years ago we had scores and scores and scores of communities and some of these communities bonded around kind of like major communities and made tribes. So this is the Wampanoag Nation and the tribes make up the nation. And just briefly the, the tribes Maspi, uh, Aquina, uh, Chappaquiddick, uh, Seekonk, Namaskit, uh, uh, Poconoket, and others. Back in the day, in 1675, for one year, we didn't just give up this land. Please understand that. We didn't just lie down and let the European take the land. We fought the bloodiest, to this day, the bloodiest battles ever fought on Turtle Island. That's compared to the Civil War, which had close to a million people die. Per capita, per capita, bloodiest war, King Philip's War, right here. We went from the east, right through Providence, burned down Providence, continued west to the Connecticut Valley, Deerfield, and all those towns into through there, Thank you. and we lost. We lost because of the thunder sticks, Thank the gunpowder. We didn't have that. We had the tactics, the planning, the speed, the help, the knowledge, better than the Europeans did. But it was the gunpowder. There you go. Thanks. It. We're still here. Oh, thank you. Oh.